hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with risk of the rain return scheme on your windows computer so when you launch the game if you see the black screen then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart try launching the game now still you're facing the problem the next step is to unplug if you have hotas wheels or foot pedals connected to your computer disconnect it this has worked for many players so it might work for you if you have mouse if you have these mouse connected you can try to disconnect the mouse for many players disconnecting the mouse has worked so you can disconnect your mouse and then check also if you have these devices connected so if you have like a razor if you have this n64 adapter if you have fanatic sifter if you have any kind of VR devices connected to the computer, disconnect it. Also, if you have this clone hero guitar, this has worked for me. So you can try to unplug external devices. If you have booting keyboard connected, you can disconnect it and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you have to disconnect all the external devices all the external devices which you're not using you can disconnect these devices any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect it and then launch the game also disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor and then check now if you have any additional controller connected to the computer disconnect it if you have steam controller also connected you can disconnect it and then launch the game and then check also disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties Turn off this option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner or Reva Tuner running, close it. So make sure that you close all the overclocking application. Also if you have any third party application or services running, close it and then launch the game also if you have undervolt 3d computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this will be highlighted so make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply Click on OK. You will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to allow sound output. Now this has also worked for many players. So open Windows settings. And then go to sound. You can click on system and then you can go to sound. Now once you go to sound. Go to advanced. Now under advanced you will see all sound devices. Click on it. Now under output devices, select your speaker and make sure allow if it is set to don't allow, then you have to click on allow. So if you see the allow option over here, click on allow and then check. Now the next step is to disable external HID devices showing in device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager, expand human interface devices. Now over here, if you see any uh, devices which you are not using you can you can try to disable it you can make a right click and this is just an example do not do not uh, disable any important thing so just make a right click and then click on disable device if you find any external hid devices which you are not using if you want to disable it you can disable it you can always enable it you can make a right click and enable it once you are done playing the game Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. So make a right click, select manage, then click on browse local files. Yeah, it will take you to the game installation folder. Now find the game exe file. Here you can see the game exe file. Now make a right click on the game exe file, select properties. Now go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Then click on apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game from here. So instead of launching the game from Steam, you can go to the game installation folder, make, make a right click and then 
you put a check on this box run as administrator and then make a double click launch the game if that does not work make a right click once again select properties and this time put a check on disable full screen optimization then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work you can go to properties once again this time put a check over here select windows 8 click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time you can select windows 7 and then click on apply click on ok then make a double click launch the game now still the if it's not working so after checking all these boxes still it's not working then you, you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you are able to launch the game switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings please ignore this so if you are able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step if you are able to launch the game try window mode and lower down graphics settings for this launch the game first so go to settings and then under display over here you can see full screen now if this is set to full screen you can uncheck full screen try window mode now if this is already unchecked then you can try full screen now if this is the window resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower it down more and then here you can see vsync if the vsync is off Turn it on and then check the performance. If it is already on, then you can uncheck it and then check the performance. Now over here you can see graphics, under graphics here you can see the quality. If this is set to high, you can try medium. So you can drag it and try medium and then check the performance. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now over here select the right product type and then select right product series. So whichever product series you have select your product series and then select your graphic card. So make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Now if you have Windows 10 select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11 select Windows 11 and then click on start search and then scroll down the latest GeForce game ready driver right now is driver version 546.01. This is the studio one. This is GeForce game ready driver. You have to install this one. And the latest is 546.02. Now click on get download. Now click on download now. And once this download is complete, run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete and after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here now go to the game installation folder if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder and then select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings now if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 you will see an option update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access Click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open once the game is added over here now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel 
Now click on System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings on the top. Click on Allow another app. Click on Browse and again go to the Game Installation folder. Open the Game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open, now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So make sure the game is already added over here. Once you add the game over here, now click on OK. Now launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to delete the save game files. Now before you delete the save game file, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, then to delete the save game file, open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C Drive, open Users folder, now open your username folder, now open App Data. If you don't see App Data on the top, click on View, select Show, and then put a check on Hidden Items. You should be able to see App Data folder. Open App Data folder. Now, if you have Windows 11, then somewhere over here you will find the View option, click on View, then somewhere over here you will find the Hidden Items box. Put a check on hidden items and you should be able to see app data folder. Open app data. Now open the roaming folder. Over here you can see the risk of returns folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now go to this PC once again. Open C drive once again. And this time open program file 686. Open the Steam folder. And open the user data folder. And then open this folder. Now over here you will find 1337520. So you have to find 1337520 only. And then make a right click and then click on delete. Now once this is deleted, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify the game file. To verify the game file, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is very important so go to windows update go to settings and then go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here now restart your computer and then launch the game and then check next step is to install media feature pack now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description now if you're using windows edition windows n edition if you're using n version of windows only then this step is applicable so here you can see media feature pack list list for windows n edition so if you are using windows n edition now in windows 11 open windows settings and then go to apps go to optional features now click on view features and over here type in media feature pack i have windows 11 home so i don't have n edition of windows 11 so that's why when I type in media feature pack, there is no media feature pack over here. But if you're using Windows 11 N edition, when you type in media feature pack over here, you will see media feature pack. Put a check on the box and then click on next and then install media feature pack. Once that is done, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, if you have Windows 10, in that case for Windows 10 N edition user, go to settings, go to apps and features, apps, then apps and features, click on optional features, then click on add a feature type in media feature pack, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then Select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, 
it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 here you can see x64 and x86 you have to install both x86 and x64 so download the link run this x64 version and then if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case it's already installed so it's telling me to restart my computer i have already installed it click ignore the error message now also install x86 so click on it and then again run this exe file click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case i have just installed that's why it's giving me the error message once installed you will see a restart option so click on restart make sure that you restart it can be the restart is must after this after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available now in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you, when you are updating the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to solid state drive so if you have solid state drive you can try installing the game to ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel